sixth graders, welcome to video three of week two, and I'm going to read you a story in this video. So the story I'm going to read today is Swimmy by Leo Leone, and we seem to have an underwater theme going here because last week we read uh, Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carle. But the real reason I picked Swimmy is because Leo Leone is one of my favorite authors. So let's listen to this story. Swimmy. A happy school of little fish lived in a corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was as black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters. His name was Swimmy. One bad day, a tuna, swift, fierce, and very hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all the little red fish. Only Swimmy escaped. He swam away in the deep, wet world. He was scared, lonely, and very sad. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures, and as he swam from marvel to marvel, Swimmy was happy again. He saw a Medusa made of rainbow jelly. A lobster who walked about like a water moving machine. Strange fish pulled by an invisible thread. A forest of seaweeds growing from sugar candy rocks. An eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember. And sea anemones who looked like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. Then, hidden in the dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish just like his own. Let's go and swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't, said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lie there, said Swimmy. We must think of something. Swimmy thought and thought and thought. Then suddenly he said, I have it. We are going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. He taught them to swim close together, each in his own place. And when they had learned to swim like one giant fish, he said, I'll be the eye. Hey, you see how they made the shape of a giant fish? And Swimmy is right there, and he looks like the eye of the fish. And so they swam in the cool morning water and in the midday sun and chased the big fish away. The end. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you again next week. Bye-bye.